Um, I'm Allison. My, my Lolo was a wonderful person and I'm really going to miss him. And I really wish that I could be there with all of you guys to celebrate his wonderful life. I'm Vanessa. And I'm sorry I can't be there to celebrate my grandfather's life with you, but I really miss you, Lolo. For everybody watching this video, condolences for Clemente Labusta. Uh, he was a wonderful, wonderful father-in-law to me. I have many memories of him. If anybody is trying to figure out how to appreciate and remember his life, they should remember how nice and kind he was. And they should try to imitate who he was in life. I hope everybody who has been touched by my father-in-law will understand that being kind will be the best way to imitate him. He's a wonderful person and he'll always live in our hearts. Remy asked me to, uh, to say something about daddy, but I told her this is one thing that I hate to do because I know I'm gonna cry. So, Daddy was such a good dad. Although I am just his daughter-in-law, he made me feel that I am his own blood daughter. Bait-bait niya sa akin. Akala nga nung iba, siguro dyan sa Pasig, kala nila hindi ko nakakasama si Daddy. Kasi hindi ako dyan nakatira. But we also shared fun time together. Kapag pumupuslit siya sa Pasig, especially if they have love uh, quarrel ni Mami, punta siya sa akin. Tapos nasabihin niya, pwede ba akong makikain? Oo, sabi ko. Kaya lang, gulay-gulay lang. O, gusto niya yun. So, Especially during the construction of our house, si Daddy ang aking architect. Marami siya naturo sa akin, especially about construction. Nagda-drive around kami, pumupunta kami kung saan-saan junk shop, kami lang dalawa. So, we really have fun time together. Marami siyang kwento, especially during his military days. Kakatawad naman. At saka I admire him so much, especially his driving. Kahit gano'n na edad ni Daddy, I love his driving. Ang galing. So, when I heard that he was sick of cancer, I felt so sad. But then, gano'n talaga. So, for me, I want to remember him as a proud and healthy Daddy. Kaya ayo yung mga posting uh, ng, ma, during the time na may sakit siya. Actually, I don't want to look at it. Gusto ko yung maganda ang natatandaan ko. But now that daddy is gone, I want to remember him. and want to treasure the memories that we shared together. Nagpapasalamat ako sa kanya sa lahat ng mga tulong na binigay niya sa amin. And I want my husband to be like him and also my son to be like him. So, I just want to say uh, goodbye daddy. Happy trip. And you will always be remembered. That is for sure. You will always remain in our hearts. Pero, Daddy, please don't. Wag mo akong dadalawin. <laughs> Dahil mat matatakutin ako. So, goodbye, Daddy. And we love you. Kamusta to all the Labusta family. I'm Remy's husband, Dale. 
and I'm sorry I could not be with you in person today, but I'm with you in heart, and I wanted to say that I remember the Colonel as a man with a very good heart. He was always a gentleman. He was an easy man to love, and I'll miss him very much. I am with you today as you celebrate his life and his legacy. My prayers and thoughts are with you all. Thank you, Lola, for the life you lived and the legacy you left us. Even though you were far away, you always loved us just the same and could always find time to talk. And now that you're gone, the life you spent here on this earth is just a cherished memory for the rest of us. We love you and we'll miss you very much. Dear Lola, thank you for taking care of me when I was little. We will all miss you, but we know that you will be there in heaven where there is no pain and there will always be happiness. Lola loved everybody. He would always give to people who are needy. Um, in his last days, Lola was always worrying and he was always sad. And, But now, I know that Lola is very happy because he is with God in heaven and he doesn't have any more pain or any more worries. So... Um, living in the U.S., I never really got to see Lolo a whole bunch, but I got to visit quite a few times. And I remember the last time I saw him, this past June, on my mission trip there, I remember I was leaving the Philippines, and I slept at Lola and Lolo's house to visit with them. And um, early in the morning, I sat with Lolo outside the house, and we watched the sunrise. And once morning came, we walked to the Sari Sari store together to go buy some pandesal and coffee for breakfast. And then the van came to pick me up, and I left. And looking back, I wish that I could have had more time, that I could have said more. But, I mean, time happens, life happens, and death happens. Um, but I will see you again, Lolo. Uh, we'll have more time than our minds could ever fathom. So I hope that it's, that it's no longer pain, but pride that you feel, um, that you're no longer experiencing the agony of this world, but are basking in the glory of our Father in the next. So I'm glad that you're at peace, and thank you for your life. Thank you for your time, and... More times to come. Lo, I don't know how to say Oh, well, um, <clears throat> ganun siguro talaga. At, um, temporary lang ang buhay ng tao. At kailangan na lang siguro namin tanggapin na wala ka na. Although mahirap. Pero, ayun. Ah, uh, uh, it was, it was hard to take it at first. Na wala ka na kasi, I always believed in you. Na even before na nasa hospital ka pa, then gumaling ka. So, the second time na napunta ko sa hospital, I said, it's just gonna be the same story. Nagagaling ka at the end. And, ayun. Pero ayun, minsan di na talaga natin kinakaya. Kaya sumusuko na lang katawan natin. Pero, ganun talaga. But don't worry about us kasi... We will be okay here. We will be happy, especially right now. You're in a much, much better place. No more suffering for you. No more pain. Um, you're in God's hands right now. So that's one reason why we why we should be happy. Cause I'm God Jan, and I'm just so proud of you, Lolo. Cause you're a military ka. <laughs> And yeah, lang nung nung bata pa ako, um, sobrang proud ako kasi lolo ko nasa military. And that's why when I tell tell about you and my friends, to my friends sabi ko, um, lolo ko nasa military yan. Ginagawa pa nga kitang general nun. Sabi ko, lolo ko general yan. <laughs> Pero that was before na hindi ko pa alam, hindi ko pa alam na kuna pala. Pero ayun. I was just so proud of you. Not only because you're in you're in the military, but also 
um, having the a, a big responsibility pagdating sa lubusta is is was really hard for you I know because uh, I saw I saw it uh, I witnessed it nakita ko gano nga parang a lot of times na nahirapan ka I mean, pero lahat yun kinakaya mo that's why I admire you so much for that and um I'm just so thankful na ikaw naging lolo ko and I will always be thankful kahit ano mangyari you will always be in our hearts you will always be in our minds and um we love you so much and yeah so huwag ka na magalala sa amin at um okay kami dito magiging okay kami dito at uh may you rest in peace love you so much lolo Ludo Oseo.